What's up guys, Chris with Croft CNC here, doing part two of the JTAC uh, wiring and uh, UC CNC setup for diode lasers on a CNC for newbie machine. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to uh, the laser profile. We'll open up UC CNC. All right, we gotta now go over. Turn on the gecko. Buck converter's on. Hit the e-stop trigger, and we're ready to load and burn. But the configuration settings. I go into configuration, I go to spindle, and I set my spindle relay enabled, M3 and M4. Uh, I don't use M4, I just use M3. Uh, I have it set on the Gecko as pin six, on the DB25, that's pin one, port one, and active high. Okay. So that's the setting you need for UC CNC. You go over to run, and now we're going to go to the wiring hookup on the Gecko. Okay, uh, real quick, let me let me grab the papers here. <laughs> I got a couple couple uh, couple builds going on at the moment. Here we go. Okay. So here's the wiring diagram from JTAC uh, for how it needs to be wired for the diode laser. Now this is a Gerbil control board. Mine doesn't use that. Mine uses the Gecko, but those are the pinouts that I need. And then this is the Gecko uh pin out with the separate relay board uh now i needed i needed a separate relay power supply which is this buck converter here because my gecko power supply is 36 volts and the jtec does not like 36 volts so i took the input positive and negative from the from the power supply so it's v plus and v minus from the power supply down to a buck converter here goes into the buck converter takes 36 volts convert, converts it down to 12.1 volts then i take the output i take the positive lead and that goes to that goes to the positive lead of the JTEC. Okay. And the negative uh hold on here. Sorry, the positive comes out, goes to the JTEC driver, the negative comes out and goes back to this power supply. So it goes to V minus, okay? The, um, the laser negative, or the negative from this goes to the gecko on pin number six, okay? So as you can see, all the all the major wiring down there. <laughs> but that goes to pin number six on the gecko, and that's pin number one on the B DB25. And then from there, uh, I'll just slip this off and on real quick 
So this is your spindle off and on button right here. If I click that, turns the laser off and on, no problem. And that is how you hook up a JTAC laser with UC CNC. Right there is the wiring. Right there is the wiring. And that's it.